Yud is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about what is coming to NBA 2K23, my team tomorrow. I almost said 2K22. I got to keep, I have to keep reminding myself that it is NBA 2K23. Now, this is the most recent tweet, and then we'll go back to what my team has tweeted. This guy tweeted half man, half amazing when we're talking about Vince Carter. And then NBA 2K says, look out for Vince Sanity and NBA 2K, my team tomorrow. Now, here's what I'm going to say. I, I, I'm, I'm going to go into the shootout. I got my I got my console up right now. And because I want to see what Vince Carter's release is, I, I, I'm going to pull it up right now as we talk about this. Now, here's what I would say. Okay, Vince Carter in past years, I've honestly liked. And not only that, guys, listen, slashing is so overpowered right now in my team. It's ridiculous. Like, slashing is literally, I hate to say it, the meta of, uh, of my team right now. And yeah, Vince's release is the definition of chicken in my team. I'm telling y'all, it's the same it was last year. And you guys know how much I loved it absolutely chicken my team i think vince carter i'm gonna say it is going to be a outside of maybe some of the grindable cards he might be the best overall player in my team I, i'm saying that yes i know he's gonna be a shooting guard i know he's not a point guard but he's gonna be six six he's six 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 he's gonna be able to defend at a high level have a great release and slashing and mashing is so overpowered in my team this vince carter is going to be basically the same as this Vince Carter, which we did see last year. I'm throwing this out there right now because I'm telling you guys, this Vince Carter is going to be the real deal. I, I, I like Vince Carter last year. I used this pink diamond Vince Carter when hardly anybody else did. And yep, it's going to be the same this year. Although I know I'm not going to be the only one using him. I mean, he's going to have a mid-80s three ball. Decent speed and lateral quickness, great driving dunk, finishing is going to be elite. I'm telling you guys right now, Vince Carter is going to be him in my team. So you guys might be like, okay, we know Vince Carter's coming tomorrow. You guys can see it right here. Pink diamond. Looks like, what does that say? Intensity. Uh, is that what it said? Intensity uh, Vince Carter coming. We had an invent, uh, intensity diamond Ben Wallace and then the amethyst Marcus Smart. Now here's the deal. This Vince Carter is the highlight of the set. There shouldn't be any questions asked. This Vince Carter is going to be the best shooting guard in the game. I, 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 I don't think there's any debate. So yes, if I go to NBA 2K23, my team right now, Dominic Wilkins and Zach Levine should be, I don't know if they are, but they should be in shambles right now. I mean, I'm going to search Dominic Wilkins right now because I bet he's going up like a fire sale right now after we did get word of, of Vince Carter. Because look, I mean, Dominic Wilkins is good, but is he anything compared to what Vince Carter is going to be? No, that is your answer. He's not. And neither is Zach Levine. I mean, Vince Carter is going to be the best shooting guard in the game. And honestly, I don't even think it's going to be close. I, that's that's my firm opinion. I really don't think it's going to be close. So all I'm going to say is if you have Zach Levine or Dominic Wilkins, I would not wait on them. I'm just saying because Vince Carter is going to easily be the best. Now for Ben Wallace. Look, Ben Wallace, is he going to have a place in my team? I don't really know. I mean, he's going to be similar, uh, probably a worse version of this card, which had 87 speed and 90 lateral quickness. He's going to be a little worse version of this Ben Wallace. That's kind of the best way I would phrase it. And this Ben Wallace was okay. Is he, uh, obviously, if he gets to some sort of defense like this, he's going to be somewhat valuable. Now, here's the deal with Ben Wallace. He has power forward eligibility. And I know he's not going to be able to shoot, but that still has some sort of value because, look, you can play him at power forward, run pick and roll with Ben Wallace, and then if you have, I don't know, an Arvidas Sabonis on the court or something like that, that could possibly work out for you because you know Ben Wallace is going to be one of the top defensive players in the entire game. And then over to Marcus Smart. I'm going to show this Marcus Smart because a lot of people are going to remember this guy. This Marcus Smart, early on in my team, was a top point guard in the game. And if he gets these stats and these badges, he's going to be up there. Now, the problem is Marcus Smart's coming out on September 16th instead of November 19th. So 
don't expect to mark as smart with these type of stats. Obviously, defensively, because he's a defensive player of the year, it was mentioned in there. He is going to get after it defensively. Offensively speaking, though, I just don't know how high I'm going to be on Marcus Smart. Now, that's not me sitting up here saying Marcus Smart is bad, because I personally don't believe Marcus Smart's going to be bad. He's going to be 6'1", a decent a decent enough viable point guard, right? Whereas if you don't have, you know, those, those lock-ins like Derrick Rose yet, if you don't have some of those guys, or if you didn't get Donovan Mitchell, I do believe Marcus Smart's going to be a decent enough alternative. Now, again, that's not me saying he's going to be the best point guard in the game or anything like that. But I, 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 again, I, I do think he's going to be that solid alternative. Now, I'm going to check out his release and shoot around here. Got a good release. I mean, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. His release is good. It's easy to time. It's easy to green. And, and a lot of people should be knocked down with Marcus Smart. So between Marcus Smart and Vince Carter, I think both of them are going to be very fine at those guard positions. If you were to go out into an unlimited game tomorrow and your point guard was Marcus Smart and your shooting guard was Vince Carter, I think you would be more than okay. Even if you don't have Steph, even if you don't have, I obviously Vince Carter is going to be the best shooting guard in the game and I don't think it's going to be close. But uh, but if you don't have, you know, let's say the the pink diamond lock-ins of the world, you're gonna be just fine. And that's something that I think uh, a lot of people need to know and need to key on, in on. Now, for me, I feel like Ben Wallace is the least attractive of all these. I, again, you guys might be attracted to Ben, but I just feel like he's undersized in a game in which height is super important. He's not gonna be able to shoot and he's only 6'9". I'm not saying Ben Wallace is bad, I'm just saying I think there's a limit to how good Ben Wallace is going to be. That's that's just my opinion. Now, Blake Griffin is like 200K right now. So the price of Blake Griffin is up. But I would be very surprised if Dominique Wilkins and Zach Levine are not cheap. Uh, or at least cheaper come tomorrow. Because, look, Vince Carter is him and my team. And if anybody disagrees with the fact that Vince Carter is up there for being the best of the best... I just don't know what else there is to say. I mean, I am and I'm absolutely in love with what Vince Carter is and, and what he can bring to the table. And I think you guys should be as well. So I, for me, this Vince Carter takes the cake is, is kind of the highlight of the set. And, and if you guys, again, want to be higher on Marcus Smart or are excited about Big Ben, that's cool as well. But I, I mean, we got to talk about Vince Carter as being legitimately him in my team. So for me, especially being no money spent, I hope there's some more budget ballers that come out with these type of cards. Marcus Smart shouldn't be super expensive. I, again, he's going to be decently expensive, but not super expensive. So that should be at least helpful. Expect Vince Carter to be really, really expensive. And expect Ben Wallace to have some sort of expense in the auction house as well. For me, I think this is going to be a massive W as far as a Friday drop. It doesn't seem like they're overdoing it early on in my team. Like, we're not going to get a Ben Wallace that can shoot. And I think that is a massive massive W early on in my team just to kind of hold it over right we don't need to get that crazy content this early in my team just hopefully 2k continues to go at a decently slow pace so we can enjoy this kind of early game 2k for at least a little while it's gonna get crazy at some point but I'm glad it's not getting crazy at least yet for me I'm super excited about Vince Carter and he's a guy that I absolutely have loved in past years he's probably going to be a top shooting guard in the game for months to come let me know your thoughts on vince carter ben wallace and marcus smart down below in the comments guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the breakdown video drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day